Welcome and welcome back to my channel, guys. Thank you guys so much for being here with me once again today. For those of you who are new, my name is Kiara Selena, also known as Nurse Key. I'm a licensed practical nurse and on my channel, I talk about nursing, feminine health, beauty, lifestyle, and finances. So by the end of this video, you like what you see and you would like to see more content like this from me in the future, don't forget to join the family by subscribing as well as turning on your notification bells to be notified when I post future content. And don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, which I will leave right down. So in today's video, as mentioned, in the title we are going to be doing a cabinet or a beauty cabinet tour um i've seen a couple videos like this i think it's pretty cool i also have a lot of beauty products in my personal opinion and a lot of people ask me what i use when it comes to hair care skin care or feminine hygiene so i felt like i would just show you guys my entire cabinet so that you guys can see with your own eyes what it is that i have in my cabinet all the links to all the products that i mentioned in this video will be listed down in the description just in case any of you guys want to go purchase them and yeah without further ado let's just get into the video before we start here are the two winners of the scrubs for my 100,000 subscriber giveaway congratulations don't forget to message me on instagram if you guys want to receive your gift right to this top area up here all right so let's just get it started at the very top i have a lot of feminine hygiene stuff so i have um these wipes right here these intimate body care and face wipes by honey pot um you guys have asked me to try honey pot so i went ahead and purchased that so i could try it out for you guys so far i've been loving it i also have my Honey Pot Boric Acid and Herb Suppository. Um, I have not used this yet. Um, I haven't had the opportunity to use it yet, but I will definitely be using that as soon as possible so that I could give you guys a good review. I also have the Sensitive Foaming Wash, also by Honey Pot. And up here, I don't really have anything special. I have some tampons, I have some African black soap, some original African black soap that was sent to me by my grandmother. And in the back, I just have some peroxide for hair bleaching, which I really don't know. Actually, I do know I have that. I bought that when I was blonde and I just had it ever since. Um, here I just have a shaving cream by Personnel um, called Silhouette. I also have the Satin Care Gillette Sensitive Skin Shaving Gel right up here. Here I have this Swarchkopf, I think that's how you pronounce it, Gliss Hair Repair. Um, this adds like a nice shine to my hair and it also makes my hair smell really good, so I love that. Um, the next thing I have here is my Argan Oil of Morocco Body Mist by OGX. Whenever you guys are asking me how I get, you know, my skin to glow, this product right here comes through for me every time whenever I want to look nice and glowy. The next thing I have behind here is this body mist, which honestly shouldn't be here, but whatever. It's this vanilla body mist by Body Fantasies. It, it's in the vanilla scent and it just smells absolutely amazing. So I'm just gonna put these back right here. The next thing I have are these Dove Plain White Bars. You guys know that I always say this is um, the only the only stuff I use to you to wash my feminine or my intimate intimate parts other than the honey honey pot that I've been using. Um, I have this Nivea body lotion that honestly I don't use as well as this personal um, this personal skin relief body moisturizer you guys have seen me use the one by equate as well as avino but i don't ever really use the is that the personnel brand from jean coutu here in canada yes i think that's what it is and i don't really use that stuff to be completely honest so let's just move down to the section over here um you guys have seen me use aussie before and this is probably the stuff that i grabbed this is like my hair stuff that I grab and it's like, you can't really go wrong with this stuff right here. So whenever they're on sale, I grab them. This is the Miracle Curls Frizz Taming Cream that I use. That one is almost empty and I just got a re-up. <laughs> 
So that is what I've been using as well as the Aussie Miracle Curls Leave-In. This stuff makes your hair feel so soft. It makes your hair feel so nice and I've been just like super in love with it. Another thing you guys have definitely seen me use before is this hair food shampoo. Um, this stuff is really good as well. Even though it is deep cleansing, it doesn't make your hair feel dry or anything like that. And that's one of the stuff that I, one of the things that I love the most about that product. This is the hair insurance leave-in conditioner. So I wasn't able to find the cream one. Either I wasn't able to find it or it wasn't on sale. So I just grabbed the um, liquid leave-in instead. Um, this one is the cream of nature clay and charcoal shampoo. This is really good and it smells really good as well This is the shampoo that I use when I really really want to deep clean you guys know that charcoal is perfect for toxins and Detoxifying and all of that. So I love 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 that stuff. This is my Garnier Fructis nourish treatment I've used this once. It's okay. I give it like a 6 on 10, but it's yeah, it's definitely not one of my favorites, but it's all right. It gets the job done. Right here in this corner, I have this Mark Anthony Macadamia Oil Conditioner Treatment. This stuff works really well. Um, I couldn't find the like regular tub, so I just got like this one. I got a couple of these. This is the last one that I have left, but that deep conditioner is really, really good. It makes your hair feel very soft once you're done conditioning. I also have this Girls With Curls Gelée. Um, this is pretty much what I use to define my curls whenever I'm doing a wash and go. So once I'm done putting all my hair creams, I'll finish off with this and an oil. And it makes my hair feel so nice and silky. This right here is the GOAT. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite hair mask. And this is by Eden Body Works. It's the Coconut and Shea Natural Hair Mask. And I just put this on for about 15 minutes. You guys have seen me use this as well. I put it on for about 15 minutes and just let it deep condition my hair and then I rinse it off. This is my Marc Anthony Coconut Cream Smoothie. Um, this is also what I use to define my curls whenever I'm doing like a wash and go or anything. I like the slip that this gives me and it really defines my curl really well, my curls really well. well. So when I mix this with my Girls With Curl Gel, I can't even talk, with my Girls With Curls Gel, <laughs> it makes my hair look really nice. Next, I got this Maui Moisture Body Care. Um, I, it's not even a, a, a lotion, it's a body gel. And this stuff is very, very hydrating. It smells really good. It's mango and papaya, no, pineapple and papaya, sorry. Very, very refreshing smell. Doesn't really smell too much. And I love, 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 let me show you guys what it looks like. This is what it looks like on the inside. It literally looks like a gel, like a hair gel, but it is so moisturizing. It leaves your skin feeling so moisturized. And I love this stuff. Like, I love the smell of it. It's like a nice subtle smell, but it's definitely like, it's there. You can. Smell it but it's not overpowering next I got this cloud nine moonlight body butter it's sandalwood and vanilla this stuff smells really good you guys saw me use this in my video about um, how to darken light how to wow you guys have seen me talk about this in my how to lighten dark knees and elbows video this stuff smells so so good this is definitely like one of my favorite products so far that cloud nine sent to me recently thank you guys so much for sending me this and putting me onto this stuff because i am definitely definitely going to be reusing it it smells so good the butter is so nice and hydrating like it's just amazing i love 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 their product All right, guys so welcome to my second cabinet i have so many things in here like i'm literally addicted to buying beauty products whenever i go to walmart and i see anything on sale it is very easy for me to get overwhelmed and just pick up everything and i like to have my house well stocked up i don't like to run out of beauty products and stuff like that i like to have you know body wash left over all the time so i'm always always stacking up anyway let's get down in here okay um, so the first product that I have here is by Tresemme. You guys have seen me use this as well. This is the Nourish and Replenish Conditioner. This stuff has so much slip and this is really perfect for a wash and go. I don't really like the Aussie conditioner as much when I'm going to do a wash and go. I feel like this really defines my curls and gets my curls nice and ready for the rest of my products whenever I'm, I'm about to do a wash and go. This is just some baby shampoo that I got for, I really don't know what reason, um, but I just have it. So <laughs> this is some baby shampoo. It works well. It's gentle because it's baby stuff, you know, so 
it, it gets the job done, but it's definitely not what I run to. I really don't know why I got that. Um, this is the Aussie Miracle Curls shampoo that goes along with the other products that I sent that I showed you guys. Also has nice slip, um, and it also does not strip your hair or make your hair feel dry or anything once you've used it. And I have the conditioner to go along with it. This one has great slip as well, but I definitely prefer the Tresemme. And this is pretty much the same thing that I have all the way up to the front, except that this one isn't coconut. This one is aloe and sea kelp, but they're all the same thing. I'm gonna have to have a seat. That I have down here is not necessarily my favorite either, but this is kind of like Dove to me. You guys know that I like Dove products. I always say that you can't really go wrong with Dove and that it's the same way that I feel about Nivea. I feel like Nivea and Dove are very similar in some ways. But anyway, this is just the Halo, the Halo, <laughs> the Aloe Hydration Care Body Wash. This is not necessarily my favorite, like I said, but it gets the job done. Doesn't strip your skin or anything like that. So that's that. You guys have definitely seen me talk about this before. This is the St. Ives Rose Water and Aloe Vera Body Wash. You guys know that I'm in love with the St. Ives brand. I'm gonna show you guys the one that I've been using. Right, so this is the one that I have been using recently. Um, this is the one that's in my shower and this is the Sea Salt and Pacific Kelp one. Smells very good, has exfoliating beads in there so it just leaves your skin feeling nice and soft. And yeah, this is the one that I've been using, but you guys know I'm addicted to my St. Ives stuff. Moving on, I got this Rose Water and Pink Sea Salt Scrub Wash by OGX. You guys have seen me talk about this stuff before. Smells amazing, leaves your skin feeling really soft because of the exfoliating beads in there, as you guys can see. Really, really good product. Absolutely fantastic for a date night if you want something that's gonna make you smell nice all night. Um, next, I got this Fresh Outlast Strawberry and Mint Body Wash by Olay. Once again, not really necessarily my favorite um, my favorite product, but gets the job done. This is probably the last body wash that I'm going to use. And the only reason why I picked it up is because they were like on sale for like $2 or something at um, Shoppers, if you guys are here in Canada. So that's how I picked these up, but they're not necessarily my favorite body washes. I have used them before. The Strawberry Mint really smells good. And the next one that I have is the Acai Berry and... Uh, tire flower. I don't even know if that's how it's pronounced, but anyway, it smells all right. Um, the strawberry mint definitely smells way better than this one, but once again, it gets the job done. Next, you guys have definitely seen me talk about this. This is the Aveeno Skin Relief Body Wash. I always talk about this product for those of you who have, sen who have sensitive skin, body acne, or anything like that. If you want a good product that smells that smells really well. Um, if you guys want a good product that smells really good and that gets the job done without stripping your skin or without having any like heavy oils that are gonna clog up your pores and make you break out on your chest, on your back or anywhere, this stuff is really good. I really like this Aveeno Skin Relief stuff. And lastly for body washes, I have this Maura Moishi I have this Maui Moisture Body Care Pineapple and Papaya Shower Gel that goes with the gel that I showed you guys before. Next, let's go on to creams. I got this Vaseline Cocoa Radiant Intensive Moisturizer. You guys have seen me use this before. Very gentle, doesn't make me break out, especially for those of you who have sensitive skin once again. Doesn't make me break out, smells really good. Next, to go along with the Aveeno Skin Relief, this one is the Equate Moisturizing Lotion with oatmeal in it. Once again, it's the same exact thing as the Aveeno, just the lotion. So if you are acne prone on your body, Equate is definitely where it's at. And that's the same thing for this one that I have right here, which is pretty much the same thing, just different packaging. Here I have this Freeman Cosmic Metallic Peel Off Mask. This is with Soothing Rose Gold. This is just to give your skin a nice brightening boost. Works very well, makes your skin feel very nice and bright afterwards. And for those of you who love turmeric but do not have time to be doing like turmeric mixtures all the time, this is by Freeman as well and this is the Indian Turmeric Gel Cream Mask. So you get your turmeric mask without having to make a mess in your kitchen and you just need a, an application brush if you don't wanna use your fingers to stain your fingers, you put that on. And that is really good for hyperpigmentation, for brightening your skin and for helping um, with breakouts or anything like that. Very, very good mask. 
Next body lotion that I have here is by Jergens, and this is the Revitalizing Vitamin E Body Lotion. This stuff is really good. Um, I really like it as well. I would definitely say I like my Vaseline Coco Care over the Jergens, but the Jergens works very well, Le leaves your skin feeling very soft. Um, that one does not really smell all day though. So if you want something that smells nice all day, I would definitely say to go with the Coco Care. And here I have this President's Choice Baby Lotion that I got um, because once again, I'm acne prone. So I like using products that don't have too, too much in it and that are very gentle. Um, although this one is not necessarily my favorite. It makes my skin feel sticky. Um, yeah, it makes my skin feel sticky for some reason, but it is gentle. So it doesn't make me break out. Um, that is the last cream that I would use out of all the creams that I have, but it does get the job done. And this is the Maui Moisture Body Care um, Shea Butter Lotion. And this works very well. I've showed you guys this before as well. This is very similar to the Vaseline Coco Care. They have a very similar scent and they feel very similar on the skin as well. Lastly, to finish off, um, to finish off this cabinet, <laughs> I got my um, Dove exfoliating body polishes that you guys see me talk about all the time. These are great exfoliators. Um, if you want a daily exfoliant that is gentle enough to use every day, um, you guys can definitely try these out. This is the pomegranate and shea butter one. They smell delicious, by the way. I got the mango and crushed almond butter one, and I also got the macadamia and rice milk dove exfoliant. And these work fantastically. Oh yeah, and just to finish off, um, I also have these Equate facial masks. So these ones, um, this one right here is with vitamin E in it. And what is the... Oh, it's passion fruit. So it's a passion fruit peel off mask. You guys see, I just be picking things up and I don't even know what I'm picking up. But um, I did use another one of the coconut water masks, which feels really, really good on the skin. This is also with shea butter. And this is the pink clay mud mask with shea butter and marula oil. So these, these are my little face masks down here. And yeah, this is pretty much what this cabinet is looking like. Let's move on to the next one. Um, right here, I have my facial brush by Personnel. Um, you guys see me use it all the time. I also have this coconut oil here by Kisan that you guys have seen me use on my hair and my body. Coming down here, you guys see my all-time favorite facial cream. This is by Pons. Um, this is the Pond Pond's dry skin cream. Great for the winter time. Nice and thick, but not sticky, not too oily or anything like that. So this stuff works really, really well. Definitely my favorite. Behind here, you guys see this um, Calgan Marshmallow Body Mist. This stuff smells amazing. If you guys want something that's gonna make you smell the bomb all day, every day, that's the one right there. Um, here I have this Johnson's Aloe Vera and Vitamin E Body Gel. I know a lot of you guys aren't really liking Johnson's at the moment because of what's going on with them, but sometimes I use this on my legs. It's not really something I use very often. I would say this is something I probably use more in the summertime on my legs for like an extra shine. But like I said, the OGX Mist has been doing that perfectly well for me, so I don't really use this stuff too, too often anymore. Next, I have this... Uh, pink sugar body lotion which smells really good if you guys have ever tried the perfume like the perfume smells really really good as well here i have my probably my all-time favorite perfume and i'm not really a perfume girl i'm more of a body mist type of person but this perfume smells really well re this perfume smells really good i don't know why i keep saying really well um, this perfume smells really, really good, and the packaging is so cute. Like, look at this, guys. Like, they come like stilettos, and you have, they're both different, so one is black, one is, like, black and blue, so there's, like, a daytime and nighttime one. Um, I don't remember the name. When I find the name, I'm gonna write it down below so that you guys can go check it out if you guys want. Here, I have this Dove Original, um, deodorant, which is not really my favorite, but it gets the job done. I also have this I Love Strawberry and Cream Body Mist, which also smells really good. What I do is I mix this with the Calgan one and it just makes like a really nice mix. It smells really good. Here I have this Dove Dry Spray. 
which works all right, to be completely honest. If you're somebody who sweats a lot, this is not really gonna work for you. When I'm going to work, I don't really use this if I know I'm gonna be running up and down the unit because this just does not work well enough for me. But if you're not really gonna be moving around too much, that should be just fine. The next thing I have over here is this Arm & Hammer Advanced um, Deodorant. I have never even used it, to be completely honest, but I know that Arm & Hammer is really good, so I just picked it up. Uh, this is my all-time favorite um, deodorant. This is by Secret, the Secret Cocoa Butter Deodorant, and this is like a stick deodorant. It's not clear. It's regular white powder deodorant. Here I have some strips to check my urine if ever I feel like I have a UTI, which actually came in handy for me because I recently did have a UTI. I'm actually gonna be partnering with a company um, to help you guys prevent your UTI, so look out for that. But I just have these test strips at home so that if ever anything feels off with me, I can do a quick dipstick and see if I have a UTI. Um, my doctor knows that I'm a nurse, so when I call her and I tell her, doc, I got leukocytes, girl, okay? Leukocytes positive nitrates positive she's just like i got you and she listens to me she doesn't make me have to come into the office or anything she just takes my word for it so this is coming clutch for me um here i have my clarisil daily clear um cleaning wipes that i use these work really well for me you guys know that i don't really like clean and clear uh did i say clean and clear i don't really like clarisil and clean and clear like that but these are um yeah these are just wipes that work really well for me. I don't really use other Clarisil products, but if it's one thing I can say, this stuff works really well. Like it makes my skin feel very nice, very clean, and it stops me from breaking out, believe it or not. So I use these. I don't use them every day. I don't really use them on a, on a frequent basis anyway, but whenever I do see that I'm starting to break out a little bit more, I'll pull these out and that usually gets my acne in check real, real quick, okay? Okay, the next thing I have over here is my Cetaphil Gentle Foaming Cleanser. You guys know that I use this. Cetaphil and CeraVe are my thing. They are gentle. They clean your face like really, really well without stripping your face, without making your skin feel dry. And they just make your skin look and feel really, really good. So if you're looking for a good facial wash, Cetaphil is the bomb. But even better than Cetaphil, Cetaphil is the CeraVe foaming facial cleanser this is my favorite you guys have seen me use this as well as the essay cleanser these are my all-time favorites they keep me they keep my skin nice and acne free and it just does the job and last lastly i have this cetaphil gentle skin cleanser um this is pretty much the same thing as the other one except that this one is more like a a milky type of um facial wash and the other one is more foaming and i prefer the foamy one Next, I have this clean and clear lemon gel cleanser, which I don't even use. Actually, I'm just going to throw these out right now because they're not even mine. They're an old friend's and um, yeah, I don't really use clean clean and clear like that i just kept it just in case i have like a guest or something one day that wants to use it but that's definitely not something that i want to use on my face anyway um here i have the scent ives blackhead clearing um facial mask this one has tea tree oh no it's green tea actually and this is really good for getting your acne under control um if ever you're breaking out because the green tea has nice detoxifying effect and here I have the Scent Ives Renewing Collagen and Elastin Moisturizer, which has really been competing with my Pond's Cream. Like, I've been using this like 50% of the time, and I think I like it just as much as Pond's. So if ever I run out of Pond's, or if ever Pond's disappears, I know I can use this instead, because it's pretty much the same thing. Here I have my Ionic Face Massager by Personnel, which you guys have seen me use to apply my um, facial cream. This is really good for circulation and getting things going and making your skin look nice youthful and you know glowy and yeah that's pretty I'm much done the tour of the bottom of my other cabinets but those ones are in a mess and honestly there's really nothing much in there to show so we're just gonna cut the video right here right now i think you guys have seen enough what do you think <laughs> 
that is it for the video i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did don't forget to let me know in the comments as well as give me a thumbs up and share this video with someone you think would enjoy it for those of you who are new if you like this content and would like to see more content from me in the future don't forget to join the family by subscribing and don't forget to turn on your notification bells that way you'll be notified whenever i post future content don't forget to follow me on instagram which i will leave right down here and i really really hope to see you guys all in my next one bye